At 3M, adhesives are one of our 46 core technology platforms. We've been studying skin and skin adhesives for over 55 years. During that time, our experts have learned a lot about what skin likes and what it doesn't. We've invited one of our skin experts here today to help guide you through the process of choosing a skin-friendly adhesive. Hi, I'm Diana Eitzman, Director of Agile Commercialization in 3M's Critical and Chronic Care Solutions Division. But enough with the small talk. Let's get into the good stuff, adhesives. If you're adhering a wearable device to skin, chances are you'll need a pressure sensitive adhesive or PSA, which can be used in medical applications. PSAs are coated on a variety of backings to form medical adhesive tapes. These tapes should be developed using design controls as part of a quality management system, such as ISO 13485. They should also be manufactured in a clean facility that has dedicated validated equipment, supply chain traceability, and is regularly audited for compliance. Biocompatibility is also an important consideration since it will be worn on skin. 3M can supply biocompatibility summaries for its adhesives, but device manufacturers need to test to ensure that their final device is biocompatible. There are several types of adhesives. The most common are natural rubber latex and synthetic rubber, acrylate adhesives, and silicone adhesives. To compare them, we should define the relevant performance parameters. When evaluating adhesives, we look at TAC, which is how rapidly the PSA bonds with the substrate. Think of it as how quickly it sticks. Adhesion to steel. This describes the resistance of the adhesive to a 90 degree peel or 180 degree peel from the steel surface. Shear strength, which describes how resistant the adhesive is to forces working parallel to the adherent surface. Rubber, acrylate, and silicone adhesives have their advantages and disadvantages. Natural rubber can be a sensitizer and an allergen, so it's rarely used anymore. It's been replaced by synthetic rubber. Synthetic rubber has a high initial tack, meaning it sticks quickly. Whoa, see what I mean? <laughs> it's also strong, but it's not breathable, and it can leave adhesive residue when peeled off. It's not recommended for long wear time applications, repeated application of adhesive to the same part of the body, or for sensitive body parts, like eyelids. That brings us to the workhorse of wearable adhesives, the acrylate family. Acrylates are nice because they lend themselves to a lot of customization. You can change the processing conditions, the additives, use different polymers and monomers, or change how you cure them. And that can help you finely tune tack and adhesion. They're also breathable, so overall, they're a better choice than synthetic rubber adhesives for wearable medical device applications. Silicone PSAs are very gentle adhesives with low peel adhesion, so they typically result in less skin trauma when removed. They're a great choice for babies and elderly patients who have fragile skin. They're also an excellent choice for repeat applications to the same area of skin or when you'll need to reposition the medical device, but they're used mostly for short-term applications. If you look at this chart, you'll see the change in peel adhesion to skin over time for the three adhesives. Synthetic rubber has high initial adhesion, but that drops over time, in part due to its low breathability. Acrylates demonstrate adhesion that increases over time. Because as they warm against the body, they flow into the nooks and crannies on the top layer of skin and increase the surface area they bond with. This is good for bonding, but it may pull on skin and hair when it's removed and could cause pain and irritation. Ouch! Silicone shows very small changes in peel adhesion over time. But typically, these adhesives are not the best choice for long-term applications. However, silicone absorbs the stress within the adhesive better, so it is less likely to remove skin than acrylate or synthetic rubber. Now that you know the types of adhesives that are available and how they work, oh, these are really sticky. I'm having some trouble. Um, mm, 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 mm. Oh, now where was I? Oh yes, oh yes. It's important to understand the skin effects associated with these adhesives. Stay tuned for our next chapter. Just say no to Marcy.